What's up guys? Off to go crush some morning cardio. My sleep schedule has been so off since I got back from Australia. I've been waking up like at crazy early morning hours and I'm like wide awake but I can't sleep at night. But I'm up super early in the morning so why not go get this cardio done? Post cardio breakfast, I am doing some egg whites that I scrambled with a little bit of kale. And my carb source is going to be cream of rice. Cardio is complete, breakfast is complete, and I have to be real with you guys, this is the first day since I returned from Australia that I woke up feeling like myself again, like a normal human being, to be perfectly honest with you. This jet lag has been so incredibly intense and so real. The past few days, I have just been going to bed really late, waking up at like crazy early hours of the morning, like four o'clock in the morning, wide awake, and then I crash midday, because Australia is like 17 hours ahead from where I'm at right now, so my body is just out of whack and has been so confused. But a few days later, I'm back to normal again, thank goodness. What's not back to normal is this crazy spray tan that's like coming off of my skin. I have been exfoliating every single day. I use exfoliating gloves and then like a coconut scrub in the shower. And of course, that's gonna make it come off a little bit patchy. I haven't really found that there's very much you can do about it. It usually takes a solid week for it to come off for me. I have found that coconut oil actually helps and I haven't done that yet. So later on tonight, I will probably uh, soak in an Epsom salt bath and like rub some uh, coconut oil all over my skin with the exfoliating so gloves. I did wanna talk to you guys about a couple of things that I feel are very important to do immediately post show and that first thing that you always want to do is make sure that you get the judges feedback the best and most ideal situation is if you can talk to that judge in person immediately after the show I know some judges hold on you guys I really need to show you this cute little dog that's outside right now sorry so sidetracked oh my gosh wait look at this thing it's like a little lion now, if you're not able to get the judge's feedback in person, then you definitely want to make sure that you can send an email within 24 hours after the show. It just shows that you're invested and that you're seriously interested in getting that judge's valuable feedback so that you can make improvements for your future shows if that's something you plan on doing. Steve Weinberger, he was our head judge in Australia. He had to continue judging after Bikini got off stage, so I wasn't able to talk to him in person, but I did follow up with him immediately after the show, and I'm still waiting for his response, so as soon as I get his feedback, I'll definitely let you guys know. I think that after so many years of competing myself, I'm pretty in tune with what I'm gonna hear back from the judges and what I do need to improve on. Pretty sure he's gonna tell me that I need to come in uh, with fuller glutes, fuller shoulders. This definitely was a fuller look for me and I'm, I'm quite happy with the improvements that I made from last season, but I know it's just continuous self-improvement and just constantly striving to get better. You know what guys, building muscle takes a lot of time. It's just constantly striving for more and constantly working for improvement. My macros are back up and I'm gonna be holding steady at some higher macros right now so that I can maintain my fullness as I ride into my next show, which is in about four weeks. I will be doing the Salt Lake City Pro. I will be perfectly honest with you guys, this past week I have been very flexible with my macros. That's obviously not what's always recommended. If I had another show immediately right after, I would have gotten right back on it 100%. But I do have some time, so I did give myself a little bit of that mental and physical break just from tracking 100%. I haven't gone super crazy, but I have enjoyed a few things here and there. Like last night I did have some frozen yogurt and some sweet potato fries. And yes, they were delicious and I have no regrets. <laughs> that is all done today i am back on it 100 percent back on my macros 100 percent i'm getting in my full water intake what i have been doing is i've been hitting the gym hard every day and putting those extra calories and carbs to good use and i'm still doing my cardio i am feeling really good and my energy is up and i'm feeling strong in the gym which is amazing and i'm just really excited to 
crush this prep these next four weeks, bring you guys along with me and kind of show you my plan of attack and how I plan to make some improvements in these four weeks and hopefully get on stage showcasing some improvements and with a package that will blow the judges away. I want to say thank you to you guys for all of your kind words on my show day video and just for joining me along the journey through that prep. I did get some questions from you guys if I could talk about what it's like to do multiple shows in a season and that's essentially what you're going to be seeing in my videos. I have several shows lined up this season and you might be asking yourself, Karen, why are you doing so many shows? Well, as an IFBB Bikini Pro, the ultimate goal for most pros is to qualify for the Olympia. And the Olympia is kind of like the event in bodybuilding. In order to qualify for the Olympia, you either need to win a pro show or you can qualify by earning points by placing top five in a pro show. Last year I got very close. I had a couple of top five placings, which earned me some points. But at the end of the season, they take the top five point holders and all of those that have won pro shows and that's who qualifies for Olympia. I had just missed that qualification via the points system. So we're gonna try again this year. Obviously I wanna qualify by winning, so that's what I'm gonna train for, what I'm gonna diet for, and what I'm gonna focus on winning a pro show. So I hope that you guys will join me for the rest of my 2017 season. I love having you guys along for the ride. Competing in multiple shows, it's not easy, but at the end of the day, it is my passion and I have a goal and I wanna get on that Olympia stage and I wanna show you guys that with perseverance and when you are relentless in the pursuit of something that you are so passionate about, all the sacrifice, all of the hard work, all of the sweat, and all the sometimes tears, it's all worth it. And so I'm really excited to share the rest of this season with you What's guys. up guys? It is such a beautiful day today and I am headed to the gym to actually meet up with an old client of mine. Uh, her name is Kathy. She started out as an online client with me a long time ago. Every time she comes into town, she lets me know and we always meet up to train. Once an online client and now a friend, which is awesome. Juice 
bar to pick up some juice shots. This one is just a turmeric shot. Turmeric has so many benefits. If you guys have watched any of my full days of eating, you know that I love to season all my foods with turmeric. There's just lots of really great health benefits to it. The seasoning itself makes your food taste amazing too. I personally love it. And then I also picked up a B12 shot. And this is literally just B12 and alkaline water. And B12 is really great for energy levels. I'm trying right now to limit my caffeine intake and just give my body a break and a rest from caffeine. So good natural source of energy right here from vitamin B12. So I'm gonna down these shots. I have to run a couple of errands and I'll catch you guys at home for my post-workout meal. So I finally stopped and got myself one of these essential oil diffusers. I've wanted one for so long. I actually travel with a eucalyptus oil a lot and I actually brought it to Australia with me and I'll just like put a couple drops in my hands and like smell it when I'm feeling a little anxious or my anxiety levels are feeling high. So I have eucalyptus already and then this one is called Chill Pill and I believe the description said it was a mixture of lavender and something else that's supposed to help with like stress and anxiety. So excited. I'm going to plug this in right away and I'm going to keep you guys posted on how I love it. So I stopped at this health food store actually to pick up some digestive enzymes. So that's where I found the essential oil diffuser and then I found this caramel stevia. So I'm really excited about this. And then I also picked up a Zevia. I don't know if you guys have tried these before, but they're actually really good. This is the black cherry one. It's probably my least favorite out of all the ones I've tried, I really like the ginger ale one, uh, the Dr. Zevia, kind of tastes like Dr. Pepper, but what's cool about these is that they are sweetened with stevia, so there's no artificial sweeteners in them. There's no aspartame or sucralose that you'll find in your typical diet sodas. Not that diet sodas are terrible in moderation, but I definitely like to limit the amount of artificial things that I'm putting inside my body, so uh, this Zevia is, is delicious. I love it. meal is some white fish, asparagus, and white rice. I'm going to season that with some ground turmeric, some cayenne pepper, and some Himalayan salt and pink peppercorn. All right guys, so I wanna to touch a little bit on what you can expect to see in the upcoming videos. As I mentioned, I'm prepping for the Salt Lake City Pro, which is in four weeks from now. And I do have several shows kind of on the outlook afterwards as well. And I'm just gonna kind of play each one of those by ear. Last season, I did seven shows. Like I mentioned, I was so close to qualifying for the Olympia, I just wanted to keep going. My fire was lit. So I ended up competing in seven shows last season. And by the seventh show, I won't lie, I was really burnt out. And I don't really wanna do that to myself again this season. Obviously, my ultimate goal is to qualify for the Olympia that is a dream and it's something that I absolutely will do and if it's in God's will for me to qualify this season then so be it I'm going to be working my butt off my goal for this next show in four weeks is to keep my shoulders and my glutes as full as possible and also come in with a more conditioned glute and hamstring tie-in so you better believe I am working <laughs> Some other shows that I have on the horizon and kind of on my outlook would be the Northern California Pro in June, and the Patriots Pro in Las Vegas in July, and also considering doing the Vancouver Pro in July. I'm just gonna kind of take each show as it comes, and you guys will be able to continue to see my diet. You'll be able to continue to see my training style and how I'm going to focus my efforts on coming in with fuller shoulders, fuller glutes, and a more conditioned glute hamstring tie-in. And I also wanna show you guys how I stay focused doing back-to-back -back shows. It's not something that's always going to be easy and it can be very mentally challenging and it's something that I want to share all of that with you guys and I want to show you how I do it so that you can see that if you have a goal, regardless of how challenging it is, regardless of how many sacrifices you have to make, if it's something that you are passionate about and something that makes you feel alive, you'll be willing to make those sacrifices and you'll be willing to put in the work. I wanna share with you guys the reality of doing back-to-back -back shows. There's going to be inevitable ups and downs and highs and lows and there's going to be challenges and I'm just so excited to have you guys along 
for the ride and along with me on this journey. So I hope that you guys will subscribe if you have not already and join me on the rest of these preps through my 2017 season doing these back-to-back -back shows. That is going to wrap up this vlog. Thank you guys so much for being here. I love you guys. I appreciate you all so much. Give this video a thumbs up on your way out and I will catch you guys in the next video.